Hi, and welcome to another colorful coding tutorial. In this video we will take a look at how we can create our own custom shapes in P5.js. Just like the ones you are seeing right now. I've done a simple setup here with a canvas and a background. As you might know, P5.js contains some predefined shapes, for instance a rectangle and an ellipse. But sometimes, you might want to create a custom shape that maybe is a bit more complex. We can do that with the begin shape and end shape functions. Between these two functions we can now specify a number of vertices that we want to draw a line between. Let's start simple with two vertices. Let's also make the stroke white so that we can see the line more clearly. Let's add two more vertices to draw a square. Remove the fill color with the no fill function. Now you can see that the square is actually missing one side. This is the side between the first and last vertex. We can use the close argument in the end shape function to connect these two vertices. However, as I mentioned earlier, we could just use the predefined rectangle shape if we wanted to draw a square. So now that we have seen how the basics work, let's use it to create a more complex shape. Another thing you can do with these begin shape and end shape functions is putting a for loop between them. This allows us to use polar coordinates to draw round shapes. I have another video on how to use polar coordinates together with sine waves, if you want to check that out. First let's just draw a simple circle. We need a radius and x and y coordinates for each point in the circle. We also need to set the angle mode to degrees instead of radians. To draw the circle at the center of the canvas, we also need to translate to the center. We can use this for loop to draw other shapes as well. Remember, 360 degrees represents a full spin around the circle. So we can increment the index by 360 divided by the number of edges that we want. The more edges, the closer to a circle we get. You can also curve the lines between vertices. All you have to do is use a curved vertex instead of a vertex. Let's get rid of the for loop and try this. When using curve vertex, you actually need include two additional vertices. One for the first vertex and one for the last. These vertices are going to control the angle of the curve. We can visualize it better, if we set the first vertex to the coordinates of the mouse. Now you can see how the curve changes depending on the position of the mouse. That's it for this video. I hope you now have a better understanding of how you can use vertices in your P5.js projects. If you want to support these videos, you can become a patron. Then you get free access to the source code from all my tutorials and projects. Read more about this in the description below.